Hey everybody, it's Mr. Shaver, and yes, it has been a long time since I've seen you all. This week, I decided to go visit my friend Mr. Kaufman. Mr. Kaufman is an organist, and he was able to teach me about the pipe organ this week. And I wanted to share the knowledge that he taught me with you guys. So please enjoy Mr. Kaufman teaching us about the pipe organ. Hello. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the pipe organ. It is my understanding that some of you have already heard the different sounds of a pipe organ, and today I'm going to share with you the sounds of this organ, and I'm also going to play for you a couple of different pieces. The organ is built off of four principal families, and the first family of sounds is the principles, diapasons, or in French, mantra. That is the basic sound of an organ and it is what you hear when you think of an organ. That is at an eight foot pitch, which would be comparable to any other percussive keyboard instrument, such as a piano or a harpsichord. In addition to those principal sounds, we have flute sounds, which are designed to mimic flutes. We have string sounds, which are designed to mimic things like violins. And there's also in the string family a flute string. And I'll play for you those two different sounds as well. That's more of a violin sound. And this one has more of a flute sound. On the organ, we achieve that sound by having two ranks of very similar pipes, with one being tuned slightly out of tune to give the simulation of an actual string. And the last family we have on our organ is what we call the reed. And the reed typically sounds like a brass instrument. So we have things like a trumpet, We're fortunate enough to have a trumpet that is a trumpet en chemin, which is installed antiphonally from the other organ, which mimics more like someone actually playing the trumpet. Those sounds all blend together in different ways so that we can play the different pieces that we have. The first piece I'm going to play for you, I'm going to play the tune for Come Down, O Love Divine, which is Down Ampney. Now, I'm going to play for you just a portion of the hymn, and then I'm going to play for you what we call an improvisation, where it takes the hymn tune and puts it with other sounds in the organ. So those would be the first two systems of that song. And as you listen to it, you hear this melody. And so now I'm going to play for you this improvisation so that you can hear that tune and that melody come forth in this improvisation so that you'll hear it. See if you can pick this out.
So what you just heard there is the same thing that's in the hymn as an improvisation with a flute and strings against another set of flutes along with what we call in the organ world a mutation. And a mutation is a fractional pipe and it is cut to a certain length so that it gives it a different sound and it varies what we do. Now, while I was playing, you saw my feet playing a keyboard. That would be the pedal board, and the pedal board encompasses 32 notes, whereas the other keyboards on an organ encompass 61 notes. What the pedals do is they give some bass sound to the organ and to what you play, so that it gives also some other variants to what you're doing, things that you can't do on other percussive keyboard instruments, such as a piano or a harpsichord. The second piece I'm going to play for you, after that hymn tune, is an arrangement of Immortal Invisible. And some of you may know that song from singing in church. It's a very familiar tune. <laughs> For this piece, it will have a full organ sound against the trumpet on Shemad, or some people may call it a festival trumpet that is in the rear of our church. themes, but it also pulls in a more modern concept of some dissonance, where it's not always harmonious in sounding, or the notes that you may not necessarily pair together, and so it gives you a little bit of a surprise feel to the sound, and it also adds color to the piece. Thank you so much for joining us in this segment on the pipe organ. If you're ever in Newberry, please feel free to come by Redeemer. We would love for you to see our building and to hear our magnificent instrument as we give praise to God. Thank you. to Mr. Kaufman for allowing me to come in and record him playing and teaching about the pipe organ. Anyway, I hope you all continue to stay healthy 
and have a great day.